Hello everybody, this is All's House Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Sexy Brutal. In the previous episode, we managed to save Clay Rockridge and Trinity Carrington from... Well, I won't spoil what their fate was to be. And in exchange, we gained Trinity's perfect hearing. And in trying to show something off, we gained information that we are going to need to save our next victim. The casino security codes that will allow us to get to the guest room. And we'd best start moving now if we want to get there in time. Although, time really doesn't matter for us. 5564. Five, That'll allow us through here. Yes, there's a card right there, but I'm going to ignore that. Seems to be a leak. Forest scene, blurred and strange, or a skyline? Hmm. A means into the basement. Alright, and here's those flaming doors again. My mask burns as I approach the door. It's as though it's pushing me away. Really? Ooh. And who, pray tell, was that? Hmm, he doesn't show up on the scrubber as any of the guests. There's one here as well. Ah, with somebody keeping watch. And also a card within. Well, nowhere else to go but up. Another card, but we won't be messing with that. Scouted is empty. Room gives you a strange feeling of deja vu. Or has that not happened yet? Uh, who's to say? Uh, could these be the guest rooms? Well, let's take a brief look around quickly. Hmm. Music rooms. Something very cold and solid is blocking my way here. Okay, no going in there. Ooh, and somebody's coming this way. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to head back and through the other way. The guest room. But no vision. Interesting. Ah! I see that key on the floor. Guest room's winding key. We're gonna need that. Devil monarch fish. A variant of the tiny devil's whole pup fish. One fish in approximately every hundredth generation develops into the stunning monarch mutation. Well... There's ten pence, or two pence. What's his name again? Six pence getting shot. Oh, now we get a vision. Willow Blue, the flame in the dark. Something to do with a bell tower. But she is our next victim to be saved. I don't recall anything with a bell tower. No information from the bloody woman? Hmm. There's something off about that one painting. There's a chalk sketch on the canvas. It has a different feel to all the other paintings in the room. Like it was scribbled in a hurry or a panic. Painting of a skull. Or is there something deeper? Well, priority number one right now would be finding the clock. Ah, there's the bell tower. It's a sheer drop down into the darkness. Alright. Ah, and there's our clock. 
And we know that her death shall occur around 7. I swear I heard somebody's footsteps around here. Hungry charm. There is some information that we need to get very soon. get it, or if it's too late. Yeah, no, it's too late. Ugh. This might take a couple rounds, then. Ooh. How unfortunate. But, unfortunately... This death was necessary. Sometimes we can't save someone until after they've died. Reason being is we needed this key on her person. Wait, I wonder. Her body swings above the darkness. Well. Having marked or made our place here in the guest rooms will make things easier for us second time round. Now, I'm not resetting because there's information we need and her death provides it. You unlock the desk using the bone key. And no, we cannot get the bone key any other way. The disc contains some sort of recipe for something called the Hungry Charm. Yes, we need to feed this Hungry Charm as some informa- uh, some... I guess life essence? Hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have all the information we need. to save her life. Hopefully we can get it without an issue, but for now, we'll have to reset time. Do you want to advance the day? No, I want to reset the day. I know I can do that. Grave with the letters LB. Ah, there we are. Restart today. Left trigger. We lose the Hungry Charm, unfortunately, but something that is easily replaced. Alright, get up, Lafcadio. Odd, the door opened, but there was nobody in here earlier. Need to warrant tequila at least. Ooh, she's coming this way. Gotta hide somewhere else. Ah, and there's that area beforehand. Tequila, please stay out of the painting room. Willow, sweetheart, I have to dash. She'll start without me otherwise. You don't have a comb that I could borrow, do you? Hey, keep your filthy hands to yourself. What? No, I didn't mean... Darling, you have been acting so weird all cooped up in that room alone. I can hear you at night, you know. It's creepy is what it is. Creepy. Well, at least she'll be safe. 
Hmm. Concern or something more? And the missing charm worries me, but without that recipe, I'm coming for you, beast. I'll stop you spreading your poison. Now back to the tank. I think I dropped my invitation. Alright, we need to follow her to get one last bit of information. It's a good thing you shared your secrets with me, Lucas. Da da! Unfortunately, we can't follow her in there, because, well, for obvious reasons. That was some information I was hoping to get, but honestly, I don't think we'd have made it in time to see that. And I think it might be a touch too late, because... Might have to restart again. Because we need to get in there before she does, so I'm just going to save us some time and restart the day now. Now, she did mention, mention something about the Hungry Charm. Hmm. Odd. Anyways, we got the Hungry Charm. We know where its first feeding is. Blood flows into the charm and murmurs softly, asking for more. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to have harmed the eel. Now we need to feed it this. Blood flows into the charm and whispers that it is ready. Okay, that one did get killed. Or is it just severely harmed? Who knows. And now we need to use the hungry charm on here. What's this? Enormous impossible chains to spend a glowing skull over the doorway it radiates a sense of repulsion and dread. The door is unsealing. No clue what's here. Candles are laid out on the table. The area seems to have been prepared for a formidable cut ritual of some kind. Candle is curiously cold. An enormous tank filled with water. A tiny colorful fish swims in the dark. Such a large tank for such a small fish, it seems. Oh well. No matters, we need to get up here and out of sight before Willow shows up. I hear footsteps, and here she is. East. Liar. I know what you are. Show your face. Yes, because we are up here and out of sight, we could technically be in the same room as her. It was you who's been calling to tequila in the night. Swamp blood runs in these veins, and I will end this. Hmm. Can't see what's going on, but I get the feeling we should be putting out this candle. Darkness, but it's you. You are the poison that I will... Something's happening. No. No! Whew. Just in time. I will not hear you! So 
So some sort of demonic entity drove her to hang herself from the bell tower. Bell. Lafcadio, why are you here? I was... I was going to do something terrible. I don't want to. I don't! I'm just so tired, Laffy. I'm so tired and so... lonely. Why do I feel alone when they're so close to me? So close. Hmm... Perhaps something for tequila? I was going to do something terrible. But now you're here, and thank you. Still have no clue what it was she was seeing, or talking to. Take her mask. Willow's Second Sight. Willow's mask allows you to see things others cannot. The ghost of the mansion will now appear as an eerie blue cloud. Light Willow's voodoo candles, candles to reveal ghosts fully, allowing you to see them, hear them, and talk to them. Willow can see things others can't. With her mask and her candles, you can too. There's more to this place than you know. Oh. That's what she was seeing. Hello, Grinma. I was actually going to restart and take it through again so we could see what it is she was seeing, but okay. I don't think you'll win. Heh. <laughs> There's still time, girl. There's always time. Some eerie demonic angler fish. Well, with that, yet another victim is saved. On to the next, but who could it be? She didn't really give us a uh, direction to go. But I suppose it doesn't matter. We could check out that one place we tried going to earlier that held the, uh, that was being blocked off by some sort of entity. We can't go this way, A, because there's two of diamonds, and also because there's a flaming door there, so that's really our only option. But, we have saved our third, technically fourth, victim. So, I'm gonna end things off there for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, and please leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.